Hi YouTube, it's Jason from Envious Customs here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the drivers for the Elm 327 cable. Uh, these are needed so that the cable can actually be used uh, with other software. This includes software on Elm Street. So first off, what you want to do is uh, put the CD in that is provided with the cable into your computer and you want to, uh, you'll see these two folders on the CD. Before you do anything else, make sure you read the little quick starter guide that is provided, the A4 sheet that is printed out with the cable. This just gives you a little bit of information about the cable use injury precautions, so don't leave it in hot places or leave it in the car on hot days, and don't pull, don't pull on the cable from, its, from the actual uh, cable itself as you may damage the internals. Uh, but this, this tutorial will also tell you to open up your drivers folder here, and then also to open up this tutorial here, how to install the drivers for the Elm 327 cable. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and open that now. So first off, you shouldn't have your, ca your cable plugged in. If you do, just unplug it. No damage is done, don't worry. Uh, I'll just show you now. I've got mine plugged in. You can see here, it's got a little yellow asterisk because it's nothing's installed for it yet. So it's got the uh, meaning that it hasn't got any drivers installed for it yet, and so it's got nothing to work on. So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug that. There you go. It's now not there, it's now not plugged in. So let's just minimize this. So we have now uh, found the drivers and software folders. Uh, under the drivers folder, we'll have we'll see these here, driver pack one to five, and also the installation guide. So what uh, following this guide, we need to open driver pack one and install, driver pack two, and driver pack five. Finally, if we're doing uh, for Windows 8, we want to do driver pack three, but that's only for Windows 8. And then we may have to do driver pack 4 depending on the type of device that you may have or the support on your computer, which is just a matter of going into the device manager and then clicking update driver software and selecting uh, the correct uh, driver or uh, updating driver software and uh, navigating to driver pack 4 for the FTDI uh, drivers. Uh, let's just go ahead and start installing uh, driver pack 1, 2 and 5. Before I do, I'm just going to quickly chuck up a, a little video to the top right of the screen. It's just going to show you what happens when the cable is plugged in. You should see a bunch of lights light up, and then finally it will just have a solid red light staying there. Uh, this means the cable is initialized, it's done all its setups from all the flashing lights, and then the red light means it is idle and it's waiting for commands. Alright, so now we've got that clear. Let's just go to driver pack 1. I may have some of these already installed. As you can see, I've got some installed already, but I'm just going to do a fresh install again. All right, next, accept, next, next, install. I may have the latest of these drivers, we'll see. There you go, I have the latest version of these drivers already. You guys may not. All you're going to do is uh, just click keep uh, clicking OK and uh, you should see a whole bunch of installation going on and it should say successful. So let's go OK. Uh, let's driver pack 1 done. Let's go to driver pack 2. Install. Yes. I've already got this installed so I think I'm pretty sure I can just do a reinstall by just doing that. Repair. Uh, most of these will say that you need to restart your computer. I highly recommend that you restart each time, but just for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get through all the driver installations in one hit. So I'm just going to click no and I'll restart later. That's two. Now to do driver pack five, make sure you go to driver pack five next. Not sure if I've got these installed as well. We'll just see if I've got it installed. Yep, I've already got these installed, so I'm just going to quickly uninstall them. There we go. Now I'm just going to install them again. Yep, there we go. It's now installed. That's all good. That's done. So that's driver pack 5 completed. Let's go back. And now I'm Windows 8, so I'm going to go to driver pack 3. So on this one, we need to right click on the one that says ser2pl.inf. So just right click, install, yes. Now, and that's, com that's completed. That's successful. So now we go back. You don't have to do driver pack 4. What driver pack 4 is, is just the FTDI uh, installation files. You can actually get a, uh, just a double click executable file that you can open up and install. Uh, this one is just for if you need to manually select the driver itself from the uh, 
from the device manager page. But let's just go back. So now looking at our next steps on the tutorial, we've done this, we've done this. We now it says finally plug in the Elm cable. So I'm going to plug in the Elm cable. I'm just going to have this open while I do it so we can see it install if it's very quick. So my cable's just been plugged in. And, and it's already installed, did it very quickly. Yours might you might see a little Windows pop up. It'll look similar to this saying installing device. And then it may say installing USB serial CH340, or might say uh, something a little bit different, but it will definitely have the COM port number, so COM3. So mine, mine is COM3 on this one, and it's also the same sort of device. But mine installed very quickly, we didn't see any of that, but yours may show the installation folders. So if you still have uh, if you still have a little yellow thing, a little yellow asterisk next to it, and it says prolific USB. All you want to do is follow what this says. So you want to right click on it, uh, click update driver software. You then want to click on browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick a list of uh, device drivers on the computer. Uh, untick the show compatible hardware, and then you want to scroll all the way down until you find prolific driver version 3.3.2.102. As you can see here, you have a, you may have a list of them. Just choose the one that's shown here or the one that's closest to it. And after that, click install, and that should be it. Generally speaking, uh, when you install these drivers and you restart the computer, all the drivers should be set in stone, all installed and happy. And when you plug the cable in next, it will install automatically. If you don't have the one that says prolific, if it just says serial uh, USB serial port, that's what it says here. Uh, you want to install the driver pack four. So you all you do is click on the driver uh, update driver software, and then you want to do similar what to this says, and you want to browse uh, my computer for the uh, software. You want to choose and select the uh, the folder, and then navigate to the driver pack four folder. That's all you gotta do is click on the folder and then click. Uh, install and it will grab the drivers from that folder. So now having a look at some of our common questions we get. So how to manually check well which COM port our cable is on. As you can see in this one here, our uh, COM4, you just go to the open up device manager and it will says next to it which COM port it is. When using software in Elm Street you don't actually need to know what the COM port is because it can automatically detect it but it is good to know if you want to manually select it in the software if not using software on Elm Street. Next, uh, what else do we have? So all the lights on the cable light up when plugged in and only the red stays on. It's this normal. That's completely normal as I described previously. I just put the video up again. Uh, the lights will all flash and then it will have the red constantly on which indicates the cable is idle and is waiting for commands. So the cable still did not install so there's something wrong. So first off, Every cable is tested thoroughly on multiple computers, uh, different Windows, Windows XP, Windows 7, Win uh, Windows Vista, and Windows 8, and 8.1. I have a whole bunch of computers and Windows to check these all on. They're also tested on multiple vehicles and softwares, including TouchScan and software on Elm Street. Other uh, vehicles, including a VZ V6 and also LS1, as well as uh, the LS2 ECUs and a whole bunch of other bits and pieces I can possibly test on that I have on my bench. So all of them are tested correctly to ensure they're working. Generally the hardest part is installing these drivers. It's all you got to do once it's installed and you use software on Elm Street, it's just a matter of clicking auto connect and it's all done. If, if you're getting a little bit confused, just make sure you go through these steps uh, one by one or follow this video and you should be fine. Most importantly, always remember to restart the computer after installing everything as this will uh, finalize all the installation. Again, just going through here, just shows you how to manually uh, update or install the drivers if you're still getting an issue with it. Just go to right click and, and follow it. Finally, uh, a more or a detailed tutorial which is very similar to this one. What I based this tutorial on it was an online one from Total Car Diagnostics. Very good article to go through. Shows you how to do all of this. Has lots of pictures and uh, steps to follow. Uh, but this tutorial should cover everything that that does. Again, any questions, feel free to contact me uh, from my website or from my email. I'm happy to help out. I'm sure it, I know how frustrating it can be when things don't go properly, uh, but I can get back to you as quick as I can and should be able to help you get everything installed. All right, thanks for watching.